First of all, let's just talk about the SRC. We're about maybe two years old now, two and a half years old, Dan? Yes. Yeah, about two, two and a half years old. And, and the interesting thing about the SRC is, is that it really was formed by the NRF to bring together retailers, manufacturers, vendors, and organizations. It's a very unique part of the NRF because the NRF, as you know, is a retail organization. And the vast majority of committees that the NRF has, uh, if you're a supplier, good luck. <laughs> you can't be on it. If you're a manufacturer, you can't be on it. If you are a, a, a state organization, you can't be on any of those committees. They're retail only. And then there's another committee that I also sit on called AMAC, which is the Associate Member Committee. And that committee is only for associate members, so manufacturers and, and, and vendors. This is one of the very few, if not the only, uh, NRF committee that's got everybody on it. So it is all inclusive. It is for both manufacturers, suppliers, vendors, that whole community, all state organizations, and the retail community. And so it's a place for all of us to come together and talk about this, this green initiative. Talk about sustainability and how it impacts all across our businesses, manufacturing and retail and consumer. And so it's a very, very interesting, interesting consortium. There are currently nine working councils within the SRC, although I'll be very honest with you, some of them aren't working very much right now. <laughs> so we do need uh, volunteers to fire up a couple uh, of these working councils. And by the way, we will, uh, after this session at 10 a.m., the Leadership Council uh, is meeting, and we would very, very much encourage anybody in the room, it runs from about 10 to 11, uh, and it's room 1E05, so it's just outside the door. 03. 03, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I had it written down. I just didn't read it. 1E03, and uh, it lasts about an hour. And if you're new to the SRC, it's a good way to just kind of see what we do and, and uh, maybe identify how you could fit into the process. Believe me, we are extremely inclusive. <laughs> and want as much input as, as possible. So I'm just going to go through these different councils very quickly uh, to give you an idea of what their <coughs> mandate is or what they're focusing on. And all of this, by the way, you don't need to take notes. This is available on the SRC uh, website as a PDF download. Uh, this particular presentation will also be available to you. All the data when we get into it uh, will be available to you on the NRF website uh, a week, um, next Wednesday or Thursday. It'll be available on, on our website pretty much tomorrow, uh, but you can get it from either place. So the Green Building Design Council, that whole council and kind of subgroup of the SRC really is focusing on, as you might imagine, building design. So they're very heavily into and integrated and want to get more integrated with lead requirements and certification, sustainable operations and maintenance, for example. That's pretty much their focus. The Stakeholder Education Council, and this is the one that, that I chair, is really around that big word, E, is education. And getting all of the stakeholders, all of the people involved. So we talk about how do you educate your retail team? How do you educate even down to the sales associate level who may be responsible for separating cardboard out from other recyclable materials, interacting with the malls. Malls have all got recycling programs today. So how do you get your staff and your team involved all the way up to educating vendors and vendors again, educating retailers and back and forth. So it's a whole, we focus on, and again, this whole, uh, initiative today is part of, and the scorecard comes under the Education Council. The Recycling and Waste Reduction Council, again, focusing on that component of sustainability around recycling. And also coming under this particular committee is energy consumption, electricity, uh, electricity natural gas, and fuel. A big, big component for an awful lot of companies. 
The Green Supply Chain, Logistic and Transportation Council focus on a number of areas, uh, but again, transportation, truck modification, upgrades. You'll see this, and this is one of the ones that I'll, I'll kind of come back to when we look at the data. It's one of the ones that kind of, I don't know, disturbed me a little bit, uh, and because as I went through the data, and you'll see it, uh, there are some areas that I thought we were further down the road and in. in and on. And this is one particular area, modification of a lot of our trucks is really not where I think is, is as much as it could be. And so we probably need some work in this particular area. And efficient routing, uh, considering carbon emissions, that was kind of good news and you'll see that in the data. That an awful lot of retailers are looking at and using geo mapping to make their truck deliveries more efficient and manufacturers are also doing the same. The Re Renewable Energy Council, and, and again, this council is really focusing on that on-site renewable energy. I think we're just on the cusp of wind and solar and, and other opportunities, maybe certainly not to replace everything in our stores yet or in manufacturing facilities. We're a long way from that, but supplement to augment what we already are bringing in. Green Products and Partnerships Council, this is really uh, uh, very heavily, this council is into supply chain partnerships to reduce carbon emissions. So really this is where a lot of manufacturers and retailers come together. The Consumer Trend and Behavior Council, again, extremely important. There was a presentation yesterday from this particular council. Uh, Will uh, Adder gave a, a presentation yesterday on the consumer because they are just a huge part of this whole sustainability movement. Because if manufacturing gets involved in it, retail gets involved in it, and the consumer's not interested, and they won't pay, and it doesn't matter to them, it's all gonna fall apart. So in, in the best uh, sustainability programs, the consumer's really driving it. And so we have to listen to them to determine where we need to go. So that's a, a council that's really very, very active. And then the leadership council, which again, you'll see, meeting uh, today at 10 a.m. is really over all of these other councils, not over all of them, but rather is responsible for coordinating all of those councils and making sure that everything makes sense and actually everything makes and affects some change. Because at the end of it all, we just don't want to come and talk and, and say nice things. We really want behavior to change. And then the Regulatory and Compliance Council uh, again, around sustain sustainability reporting, around industry association and efforts, uh, they really are, again, responsible for compliance. So, a little commercial before I kick into the scorecard, I uh, would really like you to join the SRC. As I said, it's open to everybody. And so you can't say, well, gee, I'm a manufacturer, I can't join. I'm a reporter, I can't join. I'm a No, everybody. It is all inclusive. We'd love you to join. And by the way, you and we encourage multiple persons, multiple people from your company. And it's even better if we can get three, four, five, six, seven people from your company. And so it's not just about one person because sustainability lives in every department, in every area of your company. And so the more, and we're not looking for huge time requirements from these people either. This is not overwhelming. We meet twice a year uh, and by a conference call once a month. And so it's a one hour conference call. And so it's not a huge time commitment, but it does get your people thinking about different aspects of sustainability and it would really benefit us. And so it's a great opportunity to network and share experiences and it's just a fantastic place to be. And now the scorecard. As I was mentioning earlier with Dan when <laughs> we, were, we were talking before the session, uh, I said, you know, there's probably, what, there's two things you don't want, want to know how are made, what, laws and sausages? Uh, same thing with the scorecard. You probably don't want to know, but I'm going to tell you how it was made. 